Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. You know, as we walk around this car, although this is a great looking car, uh, what I really want to do is spend a little time on what it costs to build something like this. Um, you know, anytime you can come to a place and get uh, what we would say is a turnkey car, meaning that the turn signals work, the air conditioning blows cold, uh, the stereo system works, the brakes have been bled, everything works well, the car goes straight down the road um, and has been aligned. Uh, just all the little things that if you're buying a car out on your own, out on the street, those are the things that are going to have to happen once you get the car back to you. And that's the difference here buying from us, that we've gone ahead and we've done all the things to make this car turnkey and ready to go. So the idea is this, the car shows up, the oil's been changed, fluids are all taken care of. Um, the car comes enclosed in a, uh, a trailer to your door, you know, anywhere in, this, uh, in the United States here, contiguous states. The, so it shows up there, it's got uh, gas in it. Um, it's got a temporary tag on the back, and all you have to do is, is stand outside and watch this beautiful vehicle drop out of the back, put a key in it, and take whoever it is you want to take with you and go for a drive. And uh, uh, that part of the equation right there can be worth, you know, four, five, and six thousand dollars just for transportation, fluids, alignment, uh, you know, turn signals, wiring, and things like that. Now we're going to move on to things like, for instance, like let's say you want to buy a 55 Bel Air to restore, okay? So you buy a 55. Uh, maybe it costs you 15 grand to buy, uh, you know, a car that, that runs and drives, but it's going to have an old drivetrain in it. It's going to have old wheels, no, you know, you know what, let's just do this. Let's take a walk around. We'll start with the paint for a second. Come on up here. We like to talk about the quality of the paint. Look how clear that is right there. You can read the time. That's what you should be looking for in pictures. It should be crystal clear. You should be able to see every leaf on the tree. You should be able to see what kind of camera he's using, the model number, things like that. A paint job like this, including the tops and bottom, can run somewhere in the $10,000 range. How about all the chrome? You have to redo all the chrome on the car. The chrome on a car like this, and this is actually one of the selling features of this car, is the chrome because that's what makes these have the style that they do have and that the people love them because of that. You know, this is true America when we were on a roll and it's, I don't know, it's just uh, you, you can't find an import to really compete with it. That's why Europe is buying these cars and bringing them over every day because driving around in Europe in one of these cars is like driving around in the greatest Ferrari ever here uh, and it's not, a, it's not a huge amount of money. Uh, let's, kick, uh, let's keep going there. So we've got the chrome, maybe in the three to $5,000 range to re-chrome everything. Let's go under the hood here for a second. All the engine compartment is painted here. Power disc brakes, power steering, modern 350 Chevrolet V8, so you get the 300 horsepower. This is very nice air conditioning. We have a, a chrome pump that goes over the, the front of this right here. Plus it's got the, the pulleys in there that look really nice. It's got a nice header exhaust system. All the details have been done, like latches and things like that. Springs are painted a different color. This isn't a spray bombed car. Nice set of wheels and tires on here. They're the Koi's, and the reason I like them is because, first off, they're not chrome, and I think chrome could be a little too blingy on this car because it already has enough chrome as it is, but then you can see how nice it, the brakes look through here. Okay, not a cheap set of uh, uh, Chinese tires. These are Continentals. Nice looking wheel and tire combination. These right here uh, are 18s in the rear. I like that little bit of staggered look, so it sits up in the fender well really nicely. And you can see everything in there. You look down the side of the car, it looks great. Okay, so we looked at uh, wheels and tires, they're about two grand. We looked at power disc brake conversion, another maybe $1,500. Uh, upgraded brakes, let's say a combination of 2,000 for everything. Got a modern GM rear in it, another $1,000. As we keep going through this car, you know, we're already past probably the sale price of the car. We haven't got to wiring, interior, anything. The air conditioning there, $3,500. We didn't mention that. We talked about air conditioning, but we didn't say how much it was. Now let's go on inside the car. Check this out. This is leather. This is not vinyl. The whole interior is done in this and it's stitched beautifully with the Chevrolet here in the back. It's got seat belts and chrome buckles. This is not like cheap plastic seat belts. Matching uh, uh, side panels here and front door panels. This is painted, which looks really nice. Built a specialty steering wheel with the half wrap on it. Matched the interior in tan. Got a glove box here. Like check out just the floor mats alone with the red binding around them. Just a little detail stuff. Dash is painted, all new trim in here. This is painted. Has one little uh, temperature gauge here. We can move that if you want, but you know, with a modern temperature gauge, it, uh, it definitely keeps an eye on stuff. Dressed up pedals, um, upgraded steering in here. Uh, everything is nicely just done in the car and like all the stuff works, like the locks work. It comes with two sets of keys. 
visors to match. All right, why don't we start it and uh, see what it sounds like. You know, this car here is a little quieter than uh, some of the others. And the nice thing about it is a quick, easy change if you want to throw a set of mufflers in. We have those here in stock. We can swap out something for a little more sound. Some people like a little quieter car, especially with the AC and stuff like that. Some people like it a little louder. So uh, the good news is it's a not an expensive thing. I just wanted you to hear what it sounded like now, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, how about I start for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Also, it's a little cold out here today. Uh, the morning is a little damp, so you may see a little, uh, it's not oil smoke, it's just, you know, car warming up, okay? I don't like to whack it when it's really cold, so. It's like to start it running. I just wanted to come out here, you see it's a little uh, damp morning, but uh, listen how nice uh, and smooth that sounds. And this is exactly kind of how it translates into the way this car drives. So uh, I'm going to hit the throttle a little bit for you so you can hear, hear what it sounds like. This is a styling that we talked about, you know, all the chrome and details that, uh, that make up what it costs to do these cars and, and how it reaches those levels. When you redo the bumper, just, just to redo the bumper and all the intricate pieces that go with it, it can be six or seven hundred dollars just for one bumper. Talk about taillight bezels, all the trim around here. How about all new glass in the car? Okay, let's say this only costs uh, uh, four hundred dollars for a rear piece of glass. Well, you do have to have somebody come out and put that in. That's another probably a couple hundred dollars by the time they come to your house for one trip for a piece of glass. But I'm seeing it just adds up. Glass alone in a car could be $3,000. Check this out. That sounds nice when it opens. I want to see that one more time. And look at the fit. It fits well, which is nice. It makes a nice sound when it pops open. Look at the detail in the trunk. Matches the front carpets. Painted all in here. You know, as we ran around this, uh, this car, we talked about things like air conditioning, the chrome, uh, you know, little stuff that we didn't even ask about, like electric wipers instead of the old style vacuum wipers. Um, we talked about, uh, you know, little stuff like the billet uh, air cleaner and valve covers we purchased. Those were um, like $600 by the time they were installed. So it's, I know it doesn't, $600 doesn't sound like a lot, but imagine every little piece being something with the labor and, and everything that goes into it. And by the time you're done, man, you end up spending 60 and 70 grand. So awesome, awesome car, air conditioned, automatic, power steering, power disc brakes, cool looking body, great paint, leather interior. You know what I mean? It's just uh, an awesome, awesome car to take for a cruise. So uh, hopefully uh, you can find a way to get this in your garage. Anyway, got any questions, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.